Hello and welcome to Let's Play Modded Skyrim on Master Difficulty Part 18. The last time we had told the Jarl the good news that his town was being ravaged by a dragon. As a reward he gave me some Imperial Armour which I could have nicked off anyone in the Chaturo dungeon so pretty much like for like so he gave me rubbish I gave him rubbish. I also gave the Dragonstone that I picked off the Drog Deathlord and I gave that to Faringar. That Dragonstone has all the dragon burial sites on them and it also close. has all the dragon priest locations on it, I presume anyway. I don't think that I can make any decent potions at the moment, mainly because I don't really have any alchemy knowledge. Two options, I can eat more ingredients or I could go and get some training on alchemy. I know there's an alchemist in the White Run that actually gives you training. You have to pay her a fee though, which is around 250 gold per training point. Not bad. I'll eat all the items I can though because I don't want to miss out on any alchemy benefits. Getting alchemy points doesn't always mean that you'll know what the ingredients do anyway. Aerolith has gone off. I need to meet up with her. <coughs> but I think I'll do some housekeeping duties first. That is, train my alchemy skill up and dump off a few things that I don't need. I've got plenty of time, it's only a dragon. The game somewhat gives the sense that you have to rush from one objective to the other, but you don't need to. You can just wait as long as you like, do what you like, at pretty much whatever it's pace you shame, like to do anyway. It? You don't need to be forced the around by the AI. You say you've aided the yard on behalf of White One, you think? The ingredients like lavender are quite useful. I think lavender recharges health as well. I've changed my mind though. What I'll do is I'll kill the dragon first. This dragon isn't actually that difficult to kill even on master difficulty. Mainly because you've got several other meat shields to take care of it. You have Irolith, who's an essential character, and she's quite powerful as well. She's a spell sword, so she can actually cast shock, and she's good with a bow and arrow. And you have several white run guards who they're not that powerful, but they've got bows and arrows on them, and they can absorb quite a lot of the hits for you. So you can basically leave these white run guards to take all the damage, take all the attack from the dragon while you just sit back and start hitting him with spells or you can hit them with arrows. I wouldn't recommend any sword attacks or melee attacks because you're just going to be eaten. On the deadly combat mod the dragon does a lot of damage on his bites as you'd expect and it's not worth going in head to head and trying to fight him. What do you need? The fire breath that the dragon does is quite crippling as well. And I don't have enough health. I've only got 100 health to survive. One of the most popular mods is the Deadly Dragons mod. And it does make the dragons extremely tough. You get random encounters of dragons, which I don't like random encounters too much. I'd prefer just to have the scripted dragons. The random encounters don't really do it for me. The Deadly Dragons mod adds in a lot tougher dragons with a lot more health, they look a lot different, plus they've got different powers, different shouts which they use. You can see the western watchtower just in the distance, that's where I have to get to. I just think dragons on master difficulty are difficult enough, you don't need to bump them up anymore. Here's the gang of soldiers I'm supposed to meet up with just in front of me. No it looks like the there's right four white run guards plus Irolith as well. I that makes six people We've versus a dragon. Completely unfair the on the dragon. Skulking around somewhere. Spread out and look for survivors. We need to know. So the dragon seems to have gone off somewhere. Not around here anyway. 
but the dragon couldn't have gone far. I'm going to take my bow out just in case. I have hundreds of ancient Nord arrows to fire. This is Western Watchtower. Seems to be a guard already in there. It's still here somewhere. Bucky and Tor just got grabbed when they tried to make a run for it. Fucking red save us. Here he that comes again. That the lone surrounding Get guard. So, Find cover there's actually five come. guards, Irelith and me. Seven versus the dragon. There's the dragon. your cursor. Looks like there's a white run guard down there that wants to act as a meat shield. That's it. We'll bring that Erelith firing her lightning bolts. Amazing those white ring guards can take it. That dragon doesn't look like it's doing very well anyway. It's got a bloody nose already. safety. Aerolift is absolutely killing it with uh, shock magic. The dragon starts walking around like this, I'm sure it's on its last legs. No, it's got a bit more effort, a bit more life to it. Dragon must have a death wish though. The dragon walks like this, most of its health is gone. Probably lost the ability to fly. Seriously, the dragon seems to be evaporating in front of my eyes. I wake up and it's just a dream. So, I have absorbed the dragon soul and I have charged up one of my shouts. Also, I've handily got <coughs> some dragon bones and some dragon scales. I'm far away from being able to turn those into functioning arms and armour, so I shall sell those off when I can. They weigh quite a lot as well. Dragon bones weigh an enormous amount. I shall just tuck that into my knapsack though. So I have this unrelenting force shout. 
I can't believe it. You're Dragonborn. In the very oldest tales, back from when there were still dragons in Skyrim, the Dragonborn would slay dragons and steal their power. That's what you did, isn't it? Absorb the dragon's power. There's only one way to find out. Try to shout. According to the old legends, only the Dragonborn can shout without training, the way the dragons do. That's right. My grandfather used to tell stories about the Dragonborn. Those born with the dragon blood in them. Like old Tiber Septim himself. I've never heard of Tiber Septim killing any dragons. There weren't any dragons then, idiot. They're just coming back now for the first time in forever. But the old tales tell of the Dragonborn who could kill dragons and steal their power. You must be one. What do you say, Yerleth? You're being awfully quiet. Come on, Yerleth. Tell us. Do you believe in this Dragonborn business? <clears throat> Some of you would be better off keeping quiet than flapping your gums on matters you don't know anything about. Here's a dead dragon. And that's something I definitely understand. Now we know we can kill them. But I don't need some mythical dragonborn. Someone who can put down a dragon is more than enough for me. You wouldn't understand, Housecar. You ain't an orc. I've been all across Tamriel. I've seen plenty of things just as outlandish as this. I'd advise you all to trust in the strength of your sword arm over tales and legends. That was shouting what you just did. Must be. You really are Dragonborn, then. Aerolith is a cool companion, though. I'd like to have her as a companion instead of someone like Lydia. That was the hairiest fight I've ever been in, and I've been in more than a few. I don't know about this Dragonborn business, but I'm sure glad you're with us. You better get back to White Run right away. Jarl Balgra will want to know what happened here. I have then discovered I am Dragonborn, if that wasn't a clue enough by finding those books. But I am one of the Dragonborn who has the blood blessed by Akatosh. And that would let me wear the Amulet of Kings and hold back the Daedric Hordes. And apparently what it does is it lets me absorb the soul of dragons. I'm taking command here for the moment. I can also learn dragon shouts without training. The Greybeards, they spend years of their life trying to learn the dragon shouts and they can't actually end up talking without shouting. So that's why they live in seclusion. But I've got the advantage in talking normally plus not having to learn. I'm a genius. Head back to White Run and let the Jarl know what happened. We taught that dragon not to mess with you. There's a few items I want to pick up. I'm just right gathering deep. a few things that I might need. Uh, that I'll sell on. This white run armor, it's tempting to try to pick it all up, but I don't have enough encumbrance to pick it all up. The white run guard shield, it's armor ratings 18. It's not actually as good I'm as my hide armor, so I will keep my hide shield. The only things that are worth picking up are the steel arrows and not much else. Now that I've killed that dragon I've got quite a lot of loot. Irolith has tasked me to go back and talk to the Jarl again so it's back and forth. If I was lazy I could just click on fast travel to go back. But there's uh, an important part of the storyline just to come up, so I'll carry on walking. White Run looks quite beautiful. Apart from the dead skulls all over the place, of course. No mud crabs either. That 
shaking of the ground was what I was waiting for. That shaking of the ground and that shout is apparently the greybeards calling me. They've seen me absorb the soul of the dragon. The game actually lets you be the kind of dragonborn you want to be in this game. The dragonborn of course could be emperor, could be a dragon hunter just like the Akavari blades and Akavari dragon hunters who ah, wants to increase their power you killed the dragon. or could be a monk like the greybeards are and just use yes. the power for good Need something? well that last part wasn't so true because although you can be a monk and a greybeard it isn't very mm. much fun and you can't really do very much in the game world mm. I'm feeling what generous so I'm just gonna give this beggar one gold piece oh thank you Divines bless your kind heart. From that you get the gift of charity, which gives you a temporary boost to your speechcraft. That's quite useful. It'd be nice if they gave a random gift with a gift of charity. Yes? Looking to protect yourself or deal some damage? This guy Doverfon, obviously he's a new merchant. He doesn't offer too many good things, mainly leather goods, steel goods, which you can get inside, so he's not too immersion breaking, but you can get a Dwarven Shield of Magic Suppression. That is well worth getting, but I don't have enough gold for it. That's 1,929 gold. I could try and pickpocket him, of course. I'll sell the gift that the Jarl gave me. He gave me that hide helm of minor alteration. Pretty useless for my character. I shall also sell the studded imperial armour because that's quite expensive and it's just about as strong as the White Run Guard's armour which is in good supply. There's loads of that around. So, I am getting quite rich out of killing dragons. I don't need any of my steel daggers. I don't think I even need the iron dagger of chills and I'm tempted to get rid of that. Certainly don't need the linen wrap. You can have these dirty bandages. Good day. A lot of the equipment that the guards have, well the helmets anyway, have been replaced because the guards now have open visors. They I do have scaled helmets, which is the next rung of decent light armour, just behind elven light armour. They don't have any nice chain mail, although the white run guards armour and the imperial light armour is apparently chain mail. It's not very good, in fact the chain mail in Elder Scrolls is rubbish. There are mods that address this without being too immersion breaking and I might well get one of those mods. I know I said I didn't want any graphical mods but this is the thing with mods, they are super addictive. Once you have one mod you think oh I can put in another one. But you must note that the Elder Scrolls games do have a limit to how many mods you can. If we you have back. over a certain amount, there's not enough memory and your game you will always crash. For someone in white run. These Alec uh, warriors, I think they're a looking woman. for Before another Redguard guard woman. Red guard, like the dialogue they have isn't very interesting, not it's not very in-depth. All you we get is the option to her help them out. We are not welcome but these Alec warriors, so these red guards, they appear periodically around your game it's none of your concern questioning you a is that we're paying red guard woman that's if that kind of racist feel free to but away. amusing in its own way and you get a choice either to help these guys go to Rurikstad which is where they are or you can help her out good for my crops. and Never apparently if you look for her she's a red guard sure. woman Dragon who's trying to be incognito in Whiterun. I happen to know where she is already, but we 
will do that quest. I haven't decided which side to take. Whether to find her and turn her in or to help her out. Sure I wonder what a thief what would for. do. If Probably not, do the no, one that pays the most. Away. But I don't know how much the for sale, my Red Guard friend. guards Everything. will actually pay you. Some may call so this I'm in Bellator's Me, general goods store. He's treasure. actually got some quite decent stuff. He's got a few circlets that actually increase your casting ability. He's also got some spell tombs and decent books. And of course, because I've got Hearthfire, there's loads of objects like goat horns, glass, wooden sword, which you need to make your home look nicer. I'm here to sell my dragon bones which weigh 15 pounds each and I've got three of them so that's 45 pounds worth of stuff and I'm selling that for 83 gold each. Dragon scales weigh 10 each. I've got three of them so I was carrying around 75 pounds of unnecessary gear. But there's nothing I really want to buy off him. I might come back later for the spell tomb of Oak Flesh. Oak Flesh is basically an armor spell. It gives you an extra 40 points onto your armor. Currently I'm wearing light armor so my armor rating just isn't that good. I've always Do found Bellathor quite sarcastic when he goes, Do come back. It sounds really irritating even though I've bought a load of things off him or sold him a load of things on the cheap. He still somehow doesn't like me. Nothing of our struggles, our suffering. Do you get to the cloud district very often? Oh, what that noble's a bit sarcastic as well. Looking for my husband. This Nazim. woman, I initially, when I didn't know very That's much about the Red Guard mission, I thought this was the Red Guard, and somehow she was hiding well. it. But she's not. She's just <laughs> the Jarl's assistant, that Imperial man, wearing the tunic. These guards up here, there's this guy called Commander Keyes, advises me to go to the Bannered Mare. I will go to the Bannered Mare, in fact, because there is this excellent mod that I am very much looking forward to in the Bannered Mare. Now, what is frustrating me right now is, in the first person perspective, my view is basically coming out of my hip or coming out of my knee because the skeleton isn't done right. There are mods that adjust this, but we'll just wait for the next scripted scene to start. Good. You're finally here. The Jarl's been waiting for you. You heard the summons. What else could it mean? The Greybeards. We were just talking about you. My brother needs a word with you. So what happened at the Watchtower? Was the dragon there? No I lied, I didn't kill the dragon. It was a mighty deed. You've earned a place of honor among the heroes of White Rabbit. But there must be more to it than that. Did something strange happen when the dragon died? So it's true. The Greybeards really were summoning you. Masters of the Way of the Voice. They live in seclusion, high on the slopes of the throat of the world. The Dragonborn is said to be uniquely gifted in the voice. The ability to focus your vital essence into a thoom or shout. If you really are Dragonborn, they can teach you how to use your gift. Didn't you hear the thundering sound as you returned to Whiterun? That was the voice of the Greybeards summoning you to High Rothgar. This hasn't happened in centuries, at least. Not since Tiber Septim himself was summoned when he was still Talos of Atmora. Rangar, calm yourself. What does any of this Nord nonsense have to do with our friend here? Capable as he may be, I don't see any signs of him being this, what, Dragonborn. Nord nonsense? Why, you puffed up ignorant. These are our sacred traditions that go back to the founding of the First Empire. Prongar, don't be so hard on Avenici. 
I meant no disrespect, of course. It's just that, what do these Greybeards want with him? That's the Greybeards' business, not ours. Whatever happened when you killed that dragon, it revealed something in you, and the Greybeards heard it. If they think you're Dragonborn, who are we to argue? You'd better get up to High Hrothgar immediately. There is no refusing the summons of the Greybeards. It's a tremendous honor. So that's my next mission. I envy you. I need to go to High Hrothgar. Climb the 7,000 steps again. I made the pilgrimage once. Did you know that? High Hrothgar is a very peaceful place. Very disconnected from the troubles of this world. I wonder that the Greybeards even notice what's going on down here. They haven't seemed to care before. No matter. Go to High Hrothgar. Learn what the Greybeards can teach you. You've done a great service for me and my city, Dragonborn. By my right as Jarl, I name you Thane of Whiterun. It's the greatest honor that's within my power to grant. I assign you Lydia as a personal housecarl and this weapon from my armory to serve as your badge of office. I'll also notify my guard... So, yay, I get awarded Thane, which gives me Lydia as a companion. It also gives me the Axe of White Run, which is a two-handed battle axe that, again, I won't need. Tempted to sell it. Yes, my lord. But I shall decide what to do in the next episode, so I shall see you then.